equality legislation. I want full and equal treatment and protection under the law for all couples. Uh, we heard that my opponents believe it to be inevitable, but I don't think we deserve to be the last ones to recognize that all of our neighbors deserve fair and equal treatment. I am proud to say I've been endorsed by the Marriage Equalities PAC. It's called Fight Back Rhode Island, and I am going to run, race to be able to sign my name to co-sponsor that legislation. Thank you. Yes and yes, I support full marriage equality. I'm excited to sponsor that legislation in the Senate um, and just look forward to uh, bringing Rhode Island into the forefront and, and of a state that's welcoming to all members of the state. Well, th this is a question that you have to be honest with the voters, honest on your position and people have to respect what your position is. Um, the Senate has been the place where the gay marriage bill has stopped. Why is it stopped in the Senate? It's stopped in the Senate because it does not have the support to pass. Uh, the Speaker has done all he can to pass a bill in the House. It gets to the Senate. It gets to the member of the, it uh, gets to the Senate Judiciary Committee. It's passed out of the House Judiciary goes to the House floor, is passed, then on to the Senate Judiciary. We've had long hearings, very respectful hearings. I sat through every one of them. I'm vice chair of that committee. I never got up, I never left my seat. I thought it was important to hear everyone's view on that. The committee itself did not have the votes to pass the gay marriage bill as presented. So there was a compromise struck and that compromised with civil unions. And there were, that's the history of it. Whether people like that or not, that's the history of it. The question now is, will that change come 2013? Will there be such a change in the membership that the bill will pass? And I think the honest answer, and one of the gentlemen sitting here who's been an advocate, mm. he's come there, he's seen the process. Mm -hmm. We've talked, I don't think they have the votes to get it out of the Judiciary Committee. And my position is I supported civil unions. I supported the Goldman Act. I just supported the State Police Act on Sexual Orientation. I'm not afraid to support it. The issue is it doesn't have the support. And until you have the support, it's not going to pass. And they're gonna have the same frustration again come this year, and people just don't wanna be honest and tell people that. But that's the truth. But do I support gay marriage? The answer is no. I support civil unions. I'm not going to lie to my community. But if that bill gets to the Senate floor and my constituency tells me they want me to vote for it and it's overwhelming, then I'm obligated to do what my constituency wants because that's what I was elected for, not based on my personal beliefs, but what my constituency believes. And if they believe that I should vote for it, and there's a majority of people in this neighborhood that tell me they want me to vote for it, then I'll have to change my position. But until then, I'm not going to run for my position. You know what a mug whopper is? One minute you're here, the next minute you're on the, uh, you sit in a bar with a mug and you flip it from one side. I'm not a flipper. I'm direct. I tell the truth. And I'm not corrupt. I don't take a nickel. I run my own campaign. I don't take any. I'm the only senator that won't take a nickel. Someone called me Senator Take Nothing. I don't take the blue cross. I don't take the pay increase. And I've never taken a political contribution. I send letters back every day to people saying, I don't want any money. I don't accept money. I pay for the campaign myself. I am ethical, and I cannot be compromised. And that's the best thing for this district. Thank you very much.